Hello, welcome to Around the Clock. My name is Camila Alves, and the topic of today is privacy. Now, how do we keep our privacy in the time that we're living today? I know that for me, it's a very sensitive topic because, you know, our kids are in the public eye sometimes even more than we are. And it's a very bizarre thing. I mean, all of a sudden people feel like they know my, ch my kids. So I have so many people that come up to me and go, oh my gosh, I, I love your son so much. Uh, they're such a great kids. And I'll be like, excuse me, what's your name? Nice to meet you. Like, you don't know my child. How do you ladies keep your privacy, you know, your kids private from all that? craziness out there. I'm okay with paparazzi. We all get along. Like they know that I respect them and they respect me. But um, there was one time right after giving birth to my son, it was Super Bowl weekend. My husband played in the Super Bowl. I was leaving and I left a little late. So I missed the bus, the VIP bus back to the hotel. So I missed the bus while my child was attached to me. And I had to walk like two miles to find a ride back to the hotel in complete chaos. I had paparazzi on me. I had people surrounding me, yelling things at me, saying, I mean, the dirtiest, nastiest stuff to me. Even my, my baby was attached to me. I showed them, little Hank. I said, please see that I have a child attached to me. No one cared. No one cared. I had a flashbulb. I had the flashbulb this close to me. Yeah, I agree. I'm a celebrity. I'm a celebrity and I have a reality show, but people also need to have some heart. People need to have heart and they need to know that if you're this close to me, you can, you can, your lens and your camera can hit my child in the head. They need to understand that and respect that. They need to respect boundaries. Do you have any problem with that kind of stuff, Layla? Well, you know, I have a, a, a little different of a background than all of you. I mean, I grew up uh, the daughter of the most famous man in the world. So exactly. for me, I grew up with fame. You know, that's a part of living the public life. You're going to sometimes, you know, have paparazzi after you and all that. But they're, they do need to keep their, you know, stay out of my space. I've taken control in my own hands when it comes to the paparazzi. And I've actually gotten to know them instead of instead of not knowing them and always running from them, I actually took the opposite approach and I actually shook everybody's hand and I got to know their names, who they were, you know, what cars they drove. And I would rather be on top of that than run away and hide from that because I want to know who's following me, you know, and get to know like their intentions, you know what I'm saying? Well, I walk a pretty fine line. I mean, I make a living um, writing about my life, which includes stories about my children. Um, and I do post photos of my children, but I think people have a misconception about how much I share. I mean, I share about 5% of what goes on, on in my life, and I make sure that there are no identifying photos of my home or of my child's school. I have all of my mail sent to a P.O. box. I try to be as careful as I possibly can. I just, am, in general, am a very private person, and I think celebrity or not, you know, I just don't like people in my business. I'm, I'm, I'm also not going to live in a box. I want to be like every other proud parent and say, look at my son on his first birthday and be able to share that photo, you know, but I'm going to tell you, if somebody comes to my house, I'm going to have something waiting for him. That's all I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right there. I'm right there with you. Pow, Layla. pow, baby. <laughs> Obviously, privacy is a very important thing for any parents, any mother, whether you're a celebrity or you're not, whether you deal with paparazzi or just the concern of sharing your photos online with so-called friends. So, you know, if you have any, any ideas, any tips, send us a message, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Subscribe now. You'll never believe what our moms will be revealing on the next Around the Clock. And check out Couples in Crisis, where sex therapist Dr. Berman helps real couples fix their relationship.